A new effort is being made for an upstate woman serving 15 years in prison, and now an upstate lawmaker is stepping in, hoping to have her pardoned. Carlos Flores was at today's news conference and joins us now with more. Carlos. Hey there, Nadria. Yeah, that's right. Tiffany Janae Carroll was convicted for stabbing her boyfriend in 2017. She pleaded mentally ill to voluntary manslaughter, but State Representative John McCravey says it's time for her to come home. We're all here for one reason today. We're calling for the release and exoneration of Tiffany Carroll, who is herself a victim of domestic violence and battered women's syndrome. Family, friends, organization leaders, and state representative John McCravey came together today to call for the release of 36-year-old Tiffany Carroll. In 2019, she was sentenced to 15 years in prison for stabbing and killing her then-boyfriend, William Johnson. Carroll was given an opportunity for early release after serving about three years, but her parole was denied. Tiffany is a sweet, humble, caring mother whose only mistake was becoming involved with this horrible abuser. So we can't say enough times that Tiffany was a victim of domestic violence. Things went horribly wrong in this case, and we won't stop until Tiffany is released. McCravey says because of the COVID protocols, the parole board didn't get to listen to testimony that he believes would have led to her release. My family grieves every day. We're in pain and sorrow because the Janae we know would have never harmed a flea. So for her to have killed, stabbed him, she was not herself. In his petition to the Department of Probation, Parole, and Pardon Services, McCravey says Carol was diagnosed with battered women's syndrome and post-traumatic stress disorder. And that, along with dozens of letters from loved ones supporting her, he says should lead to her release. But even when that day comes, her family says there is still more work to do. She understands that she has to do the work when she gets home with her children. She understands that, and that's very important to her. Now, McCravey says he has spoken with the Greenwood County solicitor who told him his office would have no objections of this effort. McCravey says he plans to file the paperwork as early as next week and hopes to have Carol home before her next parole hearing in September. Carol. Carlos.